Today, we're looking at an easy video setup for the Canon M50 Mark II. Now something I want you guys to bear in mind is the fact there is loads of great settings on the Canon M50 and what I love about this camera is it technically can be used as a point and shoot which for most of us creators we want things to be as quick and as efficient as possible and this is why I love this camera. I love this camera for multiple reasons. It has an audio jack so you can easily plug in a an external microphone on top of the camera or a clip on mic or whatever mic that you're using it is great to massively improve your audio especially if you're recording outdoors and something else i really like is the fact that it has a turn screen which is something that you know it's amazing to think how easy it is to use a camera when it has a flip screen because then you can easily see what you're doing it's also a touch screen as well so you can play around the settings however you see fit that just makes the camera really user friendly and that's another reason why i love this it's really small it's small in the hand has some great settings the kit lens that comes with it the 15 to 45 mil is a brilliant lens for both photography and video so just to bear in mind when you're recording video it does have a slight crop but don't worry about that because you can easily change that with an adapter or just by putting on a different lens which will solve the problem. My recommendation for an easy setup for this camera would definitely be get yourself a half decent uh, tripod. You have to spend the earth on that. Just get a nice solid one because when you're spending, you know, five, six hundred on a camera, you want it to be a nice solid tripod. But don't worry if you can only get a cheap one because I had a cheap one for 15 years and that worked fine. Get yourself a really good softbox light to give that really nice natural light which the lens will love and it will just make your video or your photography look really, really professional. Hence what I'm doing now. And another thing I'll just just a slight thing I'd re recommend is just make sure you get some sort of microphone again and an external one that just clips on top of it which is easy to do on the M50 or a clip on mic on a second tripod or one that you just clip on yourself and you are ready to go. Now I'm going to give you a couple little power tips actually on the M50. If you're using the external microphone jack, just bear in mind to turn your flip screen sort of front facing, ready to go first before you open the cap. Otherwise, it will get a little bit, uh, you know, if you open it first, you, you won't be able to move the screen. So it's a little bit frustrating. That's just something I would just bear in mind. And also, when you're doing focus, try and find the face tracker. Um, it has three different focuses in the autofocus and it is a great way to just follow your face around the lens and it's just a great way to keep you in focus at all times. So question of the day then, why do you want the Canon M50 Mark II or which older brother the M50? Knock it in the comments below why because I'll just be really interested to see why you want this camera and if you're interested in getting this camera you've not already got it there will be links to this in the description. So for you newbies and for you consistent subscribers that watch all my YouTube videos, I'm Dave from TVR Creators and I make weekly video and YouTube tips help you build your brand here on YouTube. If that sounds interesting to you, subscribe now and smash the like button if you got value and as always guys, you guys rock.